Lord, we thank you that your word says, first of all, then I urge you that supplications and prayers and intercessions and thanksgiving, thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So Lord, in the midst of challenging times, we do come to you and give thanks. Lord, we thank you that for your goodness and for your mercy and for your power. We thank you that, Lord, you do not change. You remain the same at all times, our loving and wise Heavenly Father. And Lord, we thank you that through your Son, we can come and draw near to you near to the throne of grace to receive mercy and help in time of need to receive your love and your affection and your kindness and your spirit lord we we do pray for our leaders lord at the federal and the state and the local level lord please give them wisdom lord please give them prudence lord give them the wisdom that you gave to the sons of Issachar in Chronicles to understand the times with the knowledge of what our country should do right now. Lord, grant them much common grace to lead and guide our country, O oh God. Help them, O oh Lord, strengthen them. We pray for your healing hand on all those, Lord, who have contact, who have, who have this virus. Lord, be merciful to them. We pray for the medical community, Lord. <clears throat> just for the grace to, that you would empower them to serve and care for all those who have been afflicted with the virus. And Lord, specifically, we pray for our own church community. We pray for health, for safety, for financial blessings, for any of those who may suffer financially. We pray for, for them, Lord, that you would bless them financially. And that as a people, we would be generous, Lord, to give. Give of our time, give of our money, knowing that your word says it's more blessed to give than to receive. Lord, we, we do call out to you and just pray that you would deliver our nation from this virus, from its effects. Lord, that it would not destroy us, that you would bring us through it, Lord. Redeem us through it, Lord. I pray that you would give to the people of our nation your power to, to be united as a people to be reasonable, to think of others, to not fear, to be content, Lord, um, to consider others more important, Lord. We, we ask that you would go far above and beyond what we can ask or think even during this time according to the power that works within us by the power of the Spirit. And Lord, yes, we pray even beyond all this that many would look to Christ during this time. Many would be saved, that by the power of the Spirit, many would be regenerated and be granted the gift of repentance and faith. Lord, when people have time on their hands, let them, let their thoughts go to eternity. And Lord, we pray for our church and the church at large, that you would give us many opportunities to share the gospel with others, both in word and indeed, Lord, your, your word says that we should trust in you with all our hearts and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge you. And we do that in the midst of this trial. We acknowledge you and we commit our nation and our region and our family and our church to you and ask for your blessing upon us, Lord, believing that you will... Help us through this trial for your great glory and for our good, Lord. And Lord, now as Daniel comes to preach the word of God, let's just anoint him with the, with the uh, gift of teaching and preaching, O oh God. And give us, Lord, give us ears to hear and eyes to see. 